In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 193 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to 6 c. Now, before I start with the example, I want to highlight these two things. These two equations are not the same. If the 2 stands in front of the sin, or if the 2 stands between the sin and the theta. Okay. If the 2 stands in front of the sin, first divide the ratio by 2 before you find the angle. So you, the first thing that you do is you divide by 2 and then you continue. Okay. In this case, first find the angles and then last divide by 2 at the end. Okay. So at the end, you will find that theta is, say, 24.3. Divide the angle by 2. Okay. So that's after... I found the angles, I will divide the final step by 2. Okay, and this is what we are going to look at now, where the 2 stands between the sin and the theta. When it stands like this, that's what we already did, that's easy, but when it stands there, it actually influences the angle, but let me show you. Okay, so solve the equation, and I'm going to try to make it bigger, and then just move it up. Okay, there it is. So, solve the, the equation sin, the 2 theta, 0 point, for this. Okay, there's the interval. So, it's a normal interval. So, let's start there. Uh, so, I'm actually showing you two. I show you when it's 2 theta and I show you when it's a whole theta. But let's start with 2 theta. So, the question states sin 2 theta. So, and the domain is, zero, is between 0 and 360. So first change the domain by multiplying by 2. Because in the domain stands 1 and you must change it so that it becomes 2. So I just go and I multiply by 2 this one, this one and this one. And then I have 2. But then the end is not 360 anymore, the end is 720. This indicates that we will turn through two revolutions anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise because it's positive, through the cost diagram. Any trig ratio of an angle will remain the same if you add any multiple of 360, 360 in, where n is the amount of revolutions. Okay, so let's, let's start. Now, in the beginning, I think it's good that you make this 2 theta k, just not to get confused. And there's my k now. So let 2 theta be k. So for the first revolution, okay, exactly it stays like the previous videos. You have your cost. Where is sin positive? Sin is positive in the first and in the second. Okay. You still find your basic angle, which in this case is 30 and 30. Okay. So for the first revolution, the 0 to 360, K is 30. So it's 30 or 180 minus 30, which is 150. So first work out the second revolution in terms of K. Very important. Don't divide it before calculating theta. So for the second revolution, it's just going to, and I'm going to mark it in red. So the second revolution, I will first go 360 and then that little bit. So I will just take that 30 and I will add 360. And then the other one, I will exactly do the same. I will first go 360 and then I add that little bit. So it's the 150 plus the revolution 360, which is this. So now I can substitute K back. But how many answers do I have? One, two, three, four. So in the place of K, I put two theta. And there is my one, two, three, four. And then I divide two, divide two, divide two. Divide 2. Okay, and then, then, that is my, that is my answer. Okay, can you just take note, because it's 2 theta, that it's the period will, will in this case, actually just be um, 180, but doesn't matter. Let me just show it to you. So in 360, there will be how many full uh, revolutions? There will be 2. And if you then draw a line, it will cut how many times? 1, 2. Three, four, and there is your values, which is the same as there. 
So this, it, in 360, it will make two waves. That's how you can say it. Okay. But you work it out like I showed you there. Now what happens if you make it a half? Now then it's stretched, but let's do exactly the same effort again. So do you see it's stretching? It's just making half in 360. But the question states, sin a half and the domain. So now I must divide two, divide two, divide two. So to, to get that. So to get that a half now, do you see? I divide two. And now, again, let's make a half theta k. We'll do exactly the same. We get the basic angle 30, but k is 30, 150. And uh, leave, leave, uh, and, and if I bring then a revolution, okay, oh, oh, but now, don't forget, this is blocked out, because I'm now only up to 180, so that is blocked out, so I only have that, and then I can replace the half and uh, with um, the K, I replace by half theta, and I divide 2, and that, do you see what's happening now? It's cutting there at 60, but if you think back of graphs, how that is when it's stretched, then it's when you make it just half a revolution, can you say, in 360. And that's how you do it. Okay, so please compare this two. I showed you this two that you can see the difference. In this case, it's having four answers. A normal one would have just had one, but now because it's that whole, it's having two. Okay, in that one. Right, let's, let's move on. Or let me rather say, let me rather say, yes, because it was blocked, it was a normal sin one, with a positive one, which have had one, but now it's also having double. It's having two. Okay, due to the block. I want you to stop the video, and I want you, and I, I think I also want you to do two. So let's just do number B. Let's bring the tan in, and then we're going to bring that one with sin. So let's do number B and C. Uh, this one is two theta, this is a half theta. I think both of them will be good for you. Okay, stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Let's start. Okay, number B. I'm first writing it down, and I'm going to do it exactly like the example. I think in the beginning it's... Very good that you bring the K in. Okay, so if I look at number B, now, and I'm telling you that theta A was between 0 and 360. But now, don't forget that I multiply 2, um, multiply 2, multiply 2. So I will get now 2 theta, and that will be 720. Okay. Now, if I'm going to start with this one, I'm going to say now, okay, remember, okay, I'm first going to make my sketch in this case. So I'm going to say that in the place of 2 theta, I'm just going to put, so lead 2 theta equal. Is my pin correct there? Okay, now I'm going to make my sketch. But now, don't forget, where is tan positive? And it's not blocking anything out. Tan is positive in the first quadrant and in this quadrant. Due to the what? Due to, oh, let's just get the pen correct. Due to the cost. Okay, now I'm first going to find still my basic angle. So, now, don't forget, as soon as you were seeing degrees, put your calculator on degrees. So, so now my calculator is having a D, so I just press Shift, Turn, and then I press that 1, because now it's Turn A is equal to 1. So shift down 1 equals 45. So my basic angle is 45. Okay. Now, I'm going to start. First, I will start because it's 7 with the first revolution. So I'm going to say K is equal to 45 
4 k is equal to 180 plus 44. And that is equal to 225. But that was for the first revolution. So maybe I can just write in here first revolution. But because it's going to 720, I also have a second revolution. And I'm working now with these values. So I'm going to say, keep to K, K is 45 plus 360. Okay? So my first one is going to be 405. Second revolution, the first one is 405. Or I can say K is that 225 plus 360. And that is going to be 585 degrees. Okay. Now, now I'm going to go back. Um, I'm going to say lead. A equals to theta. And now I'm taking, i you show you, I'm going to take all the yellow ones. So I'm going to say to theta. Okay. Let's just skip to yellow. And 2 theta equals 45. That's my first one. Or I'm going to say 2 theta equals 2 to 5. My second one. Or I'm going to say 2 theta equals 405. Then the next one. Or 2 theta equals 5. Okay, so there's my 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, the final. And then I divide 2, 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 divide 2. So therefore, theta is equal to 22.5. Or theta is equal to 112.5 degrees, or theta is equal to 202.5 degrees, or it's a little bit, or theta is equal to 292.5 degrees. And there is your one, two, three, four answers. Half number, what was that? B. Okay, let's just make space. Okay, let's do the next one. That's number C. Try to make space. Right, so let's do number C. So it's cos, and now it's theta divided by 2, equals 0 0.4. But it's still, don't forget, always write it down. Just write down um, theta. Always, this is very important because, because you must compare. So you know. This must be equal to this. Then you can just go on. If it's not, then you must do something to get, to get it. So I divide 2, I divide 2, I divide 2. So therefore, I have 0. And now I have theta over 2. And I have 180. Okay. And now, now I'm going to start. And, and very, very important. Go to your sketch now. Before, before you even start there, just go and, and know now that this is blocked out. Okay. Because now I'm going to say, let, okay, let's just do that one. Let's get that, okay. So I'm going to say, let, 
So let's just get the pen correct. There it is. Correct. Yes. Let theta over 2 equals k. So, cos, so it's now actually going to be k bigger than equal to 0, smaller than equal to 180. So, cos k equals 0 0.4. Now, where is cos positive? Now, if you think of your cos diagram, cos is positive where? It's in two places positive. Cos is positive here and there, but it's blocked out. So, first I'm going to get my basic angle. So, I said shift, and I said cos, and I said 0 0.4 equals, and I get 66 point, uh, remember two decimal places, 4, 2 degrees, because the final answer must be correct to one decimal place. Okay, so it's only there, so it's only that one. But, okay, so actually, I'm going to get that K is equal to 66.42 degrees. But remember, okay, let's go back, let, uh, let I want to make it another color. Okay. Let A equals theta over 2. So therefore, theta over 2 is equal to 66.42. Two, uh, four, two degrees. Now I'm going to multiply by two. So I, on this side I multiply two, I multiply two. So I get that 66.42 uh, multiplied two equals, so therefore theta is equal to 132.8 degrees. And that is my final answer.